front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Eee, yikes. That's a big high off team. Let's have a look at my opponent's squad. We have exactly 300k. Okay. A blodge tackle jump up catcher, an agility six catcher with dodge, a strength four thrower with block and leader, a block guard lineman with movement four, a blodge catcher, an armor nine lineman with kick, an agility five lineman with strength two, wrestle wrestle with armor seven, blodge only. 11 players, 4 rerolls. Alright, well. The wizard is a no-brainer. And I think we might just spend 50k of our own money to pick up Eldril as well. I think that would be a good idea. The alternative would be bribe and obey, probably. Yeah, let's pick up Eldril. <laughs> That's Melissa, she's on the couch playing Skyrim. And once again, I didn't look at my opponent's record. Yeah, it's two S's. You know. <laughs> we'll break your streak. Okay. Uh, kind of. Close enough, I guess. Um, let's kick first. So... We want Eldril in for sure. He doesn't have... He does have a tackle. He does not have Frenzy. Let's see, we want the kicker in, obviously. Do we want the agility 5 in? Yeah, we kind of do. We also want the... Wait, that's not the agility 5 you get. We also want the kicker in. So we'd be looking at something like this. So two here. Do I want to load up on Blodge on the line? I kind of do want to dodge guy right there. Now we have lodge here and there, so let's switch this around. I think this is decent enough. We might want to do some fouling because we've got 13 against 11. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, he has four rerolls plus leader. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not telling her that. What? You don't want to know. I want to know! <laughs> okay, so Monkaji, one of my mods, is telling me I should marry you to another of my mods because he's been a good ally and it could increase my influence. <laughs> I I'll told you you didn't want to know. I know. I'll punch him in the face. Good. So yeah, this could be interesting. Now I'm... I'm kind of glad that I have a tackle. But I do kind of miss Frenzy as well. Five rerolls, though. That's a lot. So we have Eldril, we have a wizard, we have an jelly five, we have a wrestler. Should be able to make this work, probably. Looks like he's not planning on picking up with his thrower, but rather with the jelly six. That's okay. 
don't really mind that per se. That's not allowed. Better. Mm-hmm. So let's send the ball away from the strength four thrower and towards this side where I have my wrestle anyway. Because we've got kick. Riot's alright. Not that interesting a spot, really. Agility 6 on an elf is good. On a line elf, a bit less so than on something faster. But yeah, it, it can make... Um, <clears throat> the only reason to take Agility 6 is for a retrieval specialist. So, Blood Sure Hands. You can kind of skip leap at that point, though. Looks like he's planning to blitz the tackler. Well, it's an important player, but then again, as long as he doesn't use his tackle, not that great a chance of taking it down. That's an interesting wrestle. He does get this two die still, but he's going to need backup for that one now. Use tackle on Hanshi. Fine. Hello there, Denistrio. Welcome. Thanks for joining in. Oh, change of mind? No. It's not ideal. So, haha, Blodge saving the day. Guard guy gets still gets to two die successfully. Guard guy's got movement four, so he's gonna have trouble getting into the right position. Blow the time. Jelly six gets the pickup. And decides to pass to the Jelly Five cage corner. Okay. We can get next to that at least. <sighs> Hello there, Lankily. Thanks for the follow and welcome to the Sagelings. So I think what we want to do is we want to gaze that guy. So we kind of just want to stand these three up. If we gaze him, then this is a very clear path. Mm-hmm. Gaze that. Good. So that gives us an easy one die. We don't really need this guy right here. So we can be there. That's good. One dodge. We can be here. We can make this the blitz. Seems legit. <coughs> no need for tackle yet. Dodge skill doing a thing. To die doing a thing. Follow yes please. Bounce is interesting enough. Two GFIs would let me get that ball. I think that's worth it. There we go. Haha! -ha! Blodge on the ball. So now what? This is the tackler. We can get in front of that at least. A little bit. There. Here. 
Question is, what do we do about this going? Can we really get in front of that still? Might be able to get here. There. Wouldn't really do enough. Might be better off. Yeah. Keep the tackle here for rescue stuff later. This this one might be worth it, I guess. Of course, he's got this jelly six superhero dudes. But... Yeah, let's reel that, shall we? Okay, a one into a two, so we're not doing anything else. At least it keeps him a little bit more busy. Hey there, duck. <coughs> so, have you decided on orcs versus high elves yet, duck? <laughs> okay, that's interesting. That means the Agility 6 is not doing retrieval stuff. This is also still not an assist. Now it's an assist. So his Agility 5 and his Agility 6 have already acted. Oh! Thanks for pointing it out, Clicken. Thank you for that. Where, when did that happen? Hey, Concha Bear! Thank you, my man! <clears throat> Appreciate that. Yeah, I really need to get my uh, my alerts fixed because I only see it when I look at the uh, at the chat window in my browser. Yeah, appreciate that. I need all the help I can get. Ooh, here comes a blitz. Ah, he doesn't use wrestle, but he gets the pow anyway. That sucks. That's really, really unjust. Doesn't use the wrestle, doesn't use the tackle. But it gives us a lot of hope for um, whatever's coming next. Hi, Calf. Wow, congratulations, Concha Bear. So this is just a block. I have the feeling he's not going to be breaking my streak, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this a blitzer? It is a blitzer. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's not picking up the ball either. Who the hell is going to do the pickup? Wrestle, dude. This is high elf mirror match. Yes. puzzled by this decision from him. Where's my Agility 5 anyway? Is that this guy? Yeah, so he can do this. With some ease. And makes everything so far. Where does he put the ball though? Interesting question. He passes to the Agility 6. Uses one of his many, many, many rerolls. And the Jelly 6 catches. Which is kind of alright. He does have dodge. My tackler is all the way back here, so that's kind of annoying. Don't think this is quite worth uh, wizarding yet. Let's see. How would this work? We'd have two dice there, probably. Mm -hmm. 
We need someone to keep this occupied. Let the kicker do that. We need someone to assist out there. Can Eldril reach that? No, not really. But the wrestler could. One. So that would be two Dodges and a GFI to get two dice here. Yeah, this is probably a good time. Can we save some movement by one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, if we gaze this, we actually save quite a bit of movement. Uh, but if we gaze it from here, then that's bad because we get surfed. Could we gaze it from there? It would be a four plus. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we failed it though. So let's try that with Eldril. Gaze four plus. Yay! So now you can be here without with only a single dodge. More sixes, wastes of the sixes. So then this is the blitz. Two dice. He got a clear pow, I should get something. Ah Yeah, see that's that's just annoying. <coughs> Alright. What do we have here? The garter's in a bad spot. Or rather a good spot, which is bad for me. We could add an assist there to block this. Uh, yeah, let's try that anyway. Because if this is a pal, then we get another two die on the garter. It's not, though. So then we get a one die on the garter, or a two die here. That's annoying. Down goes the agility five. Ah, uh, and he could have caught it too. So, he decides to go with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could have gone better. That should have gone better, really. Still not, uh, not that big a problem. Tackler's kind of close enough-ish to do stuff. This guy can run a fair distance, though. I guess we might need to wizard at some point. But losing the agility 5 for a turn makes that a little bit more annoying. Yeah, I could do with a killer myself. If this guy beats me, I'll be pretty damn annoyed, I can tell you that. Here comes the hit on Eldril, fair enough. Tackle hit too. Haha, -ha, he lives. And now he's got the ball on a bludger, through luck rather than skill, but still. Ooh, that snakes, isn't it? That snakes. Which means that while he has the ball on a bludger, we do get an easy to die. Hmm. This garter's an annoying plus spot. So I kind of want to want to gaze that tackle. No, let's gaze this guy. Hmm. 
Nope. Okay. Still got two dice with wrestle though. But no tackle hit from here, which we could have otherwise had. Here comes the wrestler. We're down to one reroll. That's kind of annoying. But at least we get the power this time. Is it worth getting our wrestler next to the tackle? Yeah, it kind of is. And that's an interesting enough bounce. So, what do we need? We need... We need people going forward, mostly. Can we get rid of anything here? Not super easily. This is going to be a tough retrieval. So I think... I think I'm going to make this... It's <clears throat> no reroll, though. No reroll makes this kind of shitty. So what we can do... So we can get here. Yeah. Uh, it's jump up, quiet composer. And we can get there. Now we do want some kind of safety net because he's got agility enough to pick up here and do funky stuff. We want to make sure that we can do things back here. If we fail now, do we reroll? Because if we don't, then we might want to do this dodge first. Okay, that's good. That's very really helpful. How about this one die then? Nope, not so good. That's all right. Can look at this. Mm -hmm. Could, um, he could set up a surf if he wants to. Hey, I see the Agility 6 not picking up. I like that. Is the Agility 5? Yeah, Agility 5 still there though. Blitz with Wrestle gets a pow. So only one more thing is on the ball. Stun that doesn't matter that much. What's well, a bludger out? It's still annoying. Tackle guy doesn't tackle, so that's good. One tackle zone left on the ball. Jelly 5 is not in a good spot right now. Well, that's interesting. Kind of a big mess though. Not in a situation where I can easily fireball anything. Ooh, Jelly 5 chooses to block. That means he's not going for the pickup, I guess. Still got this block though. Okay, Garter's free. This is a mess. This makes for an interesting fireball, potentially. <clears throat> but let's see what this does, because he's going to block that guy, right? Oh, he blocks Eldril and gets the both down, which is annoying. But Eldril lives. Hmm. 
I'm not sure how much I like the idea of fireballing this. There's no super easy blitzes to get the ball going out. <sighs> Maybe I should. I mean, it is five guys, including this only tackler. And the strength four and the agility five. Yeah, let's fireball that. Boom! One, two, two guys. Enough to create some room at least. Let's see if Eldril wants to gaze again. He does not. Right, so what do we got? not the best guys. Right now we've got a pickup in two tackle zones. We can remove that. Garter's in a good spot in my way. If we remove this, we can blitz in there. I kind of want to make this block first up to remove some of his options for running off. Here. Good. One die blitz there. Or can we bring someone in here? Not really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But then who'd retrieve? No, we need to do this blitz, I think. Two plus one die blitz. Push will have to do, I'm afraid. Which is actually quite annoying. Let's see the bounce though. Yeah, that's quite annoying. Jeez, that's annoying. We do have Wrestle here, but that's a half die until he goes there. And now it's a one die with Wrestle. I'm gonna have to reroll that. Wrestle is good. He's got jump up though, and where does the ball go? The ball goes all the way in there. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pass to the agility five, maybe? Yeah. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh, pick up fail. Oh, the bounce is nice though. The bounce is decent-ish. <clears throat> no more rerolls for us. Three turns to go for both teams. Still no removals, despite that fireball that was kind of attrition-y. Uh, not happy. But the bounce is nice. The bounce is kind. Then again, he's got agility six. And he's got a guy on Eldril already. And the jump up dude might be useful too. This is a good turn for him to roll pushes. That's kind of nice. That garter is not in a super scary spot just yet. <laughs> no reroll is scary though, given how easily this could go either way. Having one more reroll would have really, really helped. <sighs> but if he's struggling enough down here, then he might not score, I suppose. Uh, 
Yeah, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Here comes the jump up block. This time it's good. He gets this tackle hit. Now that there's quite a couple of Germans here, uh, at Mistrio. But my tackler survives at least. Still three tackle zones on the ball. Here comes the blitz from the thrower. Three dice, gets a pow. Doesn't get anyone onto the ball. Only a stun. And the thrower goes and gets it himself. Fails. Reroll. Oh, booger. Oh, fill the dodge, please. Fill the dodge now. Damn you. Damn you. Ah, oh, that was disgusting. Because that guy has strength four. And I'm completely on the wrong side of him. Foul by the Agility 6, really. Okay. So, we're going from <clears throat> a scoring attempt back to let's try and keep him from scoring with not that many players able to act effectively. So we need this block. Can we blitz something over there? Not easily. He doesn't have tackle on Eldril, which is kind of good. I don't think there's good enough chain push plays here to, uh, to work that. So we're going to make this block. Yeah. Okay. We would have liked to blitz that guy, but I guess that's not happening. <sighs> we can just put Elvil like here. Gaze this. Gaze doesn't matter much. So now it works, that doesn't matter. We blitz that and then go here somewhere. And so we block this. That'll have to do. Yeah, it is. It's looking pretty grim. Absolutely. It's got to tackle on there. It's got to tackle. Wait, where's his tackle? That's this one. So we can get this up, I guess. That's a nice dodge. So here we need a 4, 3, 3, 4, 2. That's a lot to ask for. If we stand this up, we give up chain pushes. But also forces him to roll some more dice. Four, three, three, no, almost. Ish. Almost ish. Yeah, this is looking very grim. Maybe I shouldn't have wizarded. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm really annoyed that he uh, he got the POW sack when he could have used Ressor Tackle, and then I didn't get my sacks in. 
But hey, shit happens. Let's hope he's even more of an idiot. And because if he scores, this is going to be hella tough. Oh. Now, this was my defensive drive, but I'm playing 300k up. I already used my wizard, so I was kind of supposed to score here. And I didn't get any guys out either. Two die on my tackler is merely a push. But he does use the chain push that I gave him. Thanks, Gligan. This is from the Jilly 6. So again... <clears throat> Tackler still intact. He's using it very effectively to move his thrower forward. But... Oh, and he gets the power at the right time. That's annoying. Okay. Kind of helpful. Two, four, six. Is he going to sideline? Yeah, he is. Makes sense. In that case, we kind of have to hope that Eldrill will do good for us. It's not a garter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He hasn't used the reroll yet either, has he? It did waste a few actions, but it did also move him forward a lot. Be a great time to start failing stuff. Gazing this wouldn't really give us that much of a, a sack. That's a lot of rolls to commit to at once, but he doesn't seem to be bothered. Eight, let's go there. Gaze that. Oh, come on, Eldrill! Make yourself useful. So it's going to be a half die anyway, then. One, two, three, four. This is the tackler, so that's annoying. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that doesn't help. No one with movement. Dodge doesn't work. Are you ready? Sorry? No. Aww. Annoying tackle. This gaze would have mattered so much. At least it gives me the reroll for the really tough one. There it goes. That's the reroll gone. No. Yeah, that that gaze was huge. So, no reroll. And we need to one turn. 
This is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good. I used the wizard. I didn't get anyone out. <clears throat> I didn't break his drive. Well, it's still possible. I mean, I've, I've come back from worse, but it's certainly not where I'd hoped to be between the Wizard and Eldrill. And I got so many shots at the ball. So I'm a little bit annoyed at that. I mean, the guy's kind of bad enough that it should be possible. Yeah, I've got plenty of subs. Yeah. So did we use the Agility 5? No, we used the Dodge. We blitz him. Into here. We can use the Agility 5 to pass with, probably. That's kind of good. So we blitz him in there, in there, in there. Actually, I think if we can get one guy, we can blitz him there, there, there. That might be even better. Because then if the first one's a power, we're still good. So then you'd be going... Let's say here. No, that doesn't work. Never mind. Here. There, there, there. Let's do this with this guy because then we can move along. Out there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that. Yeah, I guess this will probably uh this will probably do. <sighs> Weather change, not that relevant. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Let's see what this does. We kind of need that push. That's not a push. God damn it. Okay, no one turn for me. Well, that means we can focus on fouling something. Let's file the armor 7, I guess. Well, if we're going to gang file, we should not do the armor 7, because he's easier to remove later. Wait, did I just move my only... No. Good. Wrestle. Okay. Not that much. 
Because this is kind of the guy I want to foul with. Um, but I also want to make sure I get to block. So if this fails, then we do that. I guess we can foul with the dodge guy here. Finally got one. Send off in a KO, huh? Well, that's kind of rubbish. So, we're receiving 1 0 behind. If we want to push for a win, and the KO didn't work. That was all kinds of crap. He's bad enough that I think I can push for a win, but his team is good enough that it can carry him through. <sighs> Not pleased. I mean, chances are that if I give him the ball, he's going to give me Eldril shots at it at least. So I'm not averse to a quick score. Should be conservative with my rerolls. Should be quite willing to foul shit. That looks like a plan to me. <sighs> Weather change, still not that relevant. The kick's interesting though. That is one hell of an interesting kick. So we need to be here. And then we're gonna do our blocks. This one. Good. Armor 7, you say? That's cute. No, doesn't bother him apparently. This one then? Also good. Yeah, what about this one? This one's not so good. Yeah, I don't really need to do a block with Eldril there. How about, if we gaze that guy, we can get a much better foul, but we don't really know if that's going to be a foul until we try it. Until we try the blitz. So let's do that. And let's do this at least. So here comes the, the blitz. <clears throat> Pal here would of course be super helpful. Thank you. Yeah. 
so we're killing that straight away. Let's see if we can gaze this. That would be kind of nice too. Because then we would have two assists in this file instead of one. Yes. Let's also pick up the ball while we're here. I mean, might as well, right? There we go. Uh, this spot looks alright-ish. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Two assists on this foul. Now he does have jump up, so failing this would suck. It's also a catcher though, so it's got pretty decent odds. That is a good trade. That is a very nice trade. I will take that any day. And he doesn't apo it, even though it's his best player, badly hurt, <clears throat> which is not that surprising. Probably for a win, because my opponent is not that good. And so I've got uh, reasonable odds. I really should have had him first half, to be honest. Also, you know, I mean, I may have two send-offs, but at, uh, at the moment I'm 11 versus 10, so that's not awful. He doesn't have tackle anymore. Well, that depends on you, doesn't it, Duck? Uh, honestly, I think... I think in terms of time, I'm just not going to manage it anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much. I kind of suck at the meta anyway. So we can't really afford to foul much more, but this one this last foul was really, really worth it. Reasonable defensive setup though. Still got this garter, which I don't. Push is not that bad. Reroll into skulls, that's cool. I like that. No removal, but still. So, we're not in a big hurry. We could blitz the blodger. We could also block the blodger. Let's block the blodger first, see if we roll a pal. Not just yet. Mm, no, I think we're gonna go here. We're gonna blitz that guy. Because it opens up going here a little bit. Which is nice. Too bad. We have this then. So. We're going to be here anyway. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's go there. That was kind of bad though, because makes it a little bit easy. Especially if I do this. So what else we got? We could push this. Being here might be good enough. Then again, we don't have any... Now let's be here instead. And you know what? Let's give this agility 5 a little nudge in the face. Yeah, that's kind of a sucky nudge. Alright, alright. Not that much progress. Left Eldril blockable. Not super pleased. How are we doing for turns? One, two, three, four, five, six turns to go, so we kind of want to score in two at least. We want to, we want to have time for the steal. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> ah. 
I don't mind five. But yeah, it really depends on uh, on the kick. The team value difference is 300k, Quiet Composer. And uh, the wizard wasn't enough to get me uh, get me a steal or even a stop. Uh, so that is that was really annoying. Eighteen, thirteen, thirteen. This would be a good candidate for the touchdown, actually. My lodge blitzer with thirteen could get a frenzy, maybe. Yeah, that was definitely part of my logic. <laughs> At least this guy is only stunned. Oh, he's, he files too. That's cute. Let's hope the ref spots him as well as he did me. A stun and a send-off. Splendid. Nine guys left. That is really, really, really good. This is my tackle. We're going to have to be rolling some dice here, because we've got a couple of stuns there. If I fill this dodge, do I want to fill it first? Okay, tackle does good. Another catcher down. But not out. So we can cover three of the corners before making a dodge. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we can go forward if we want. Wait. Uh, yikes. Let's check that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one GFI. Is that worth it? It is. Finds good, so then we still need to dodge to go there. We need that one first, don't we? Thank you, Eldrill. Hey, Valenich. Right. Good. So we can go there. Uh, the agility catcher would be um, <clears throat> blood, sure hands, leap, something, retrieval. Probably blood, leap, sure hands, sidestep. But start off with dodge. Yeah, my opponent um, <clears throat> is not a good enough coach to be leading 1-0 against me, despite my wizard. So, the Jelly 6 could quite easily sack here. Yeah, the, I I feel like you more often need the agility five for retrieval than you do for sacking. So the sack is relatively easy for him if he decides to make it. The um, getting the ball after that is going to be tough though for this guy because of the screen and the fact that he's pushing me that way. Okay. Gets the one die sack. Yeah, that's true. 
That's true. You just quite often want to hang on to the ball with the guy. Okay, that's cute. That helps. I guess uh, Kumo's scoring then. Yeah, if you could just break his neck before your receiving drive, that would be great. Maybe not. Alright. Then I'll break it for you. So... Right now, we've got only two assists here, and he's got two assists there as well, so that's kind of annoying. Which means we should blitz that guy away, but we need three assists for that too. Yeah. Because I kind of do want to break his face before we go. <coughs> we don't have anyone to go there. The guard's in a sensible spot again. He's done that part right, at least. Send him up anyway. So right now we could do this. That would not be so bad, I guess. Okay, so this push looks kind of annoying, but really it's not that bad because now we've got three assists on him, so now we've got the tackle hit there. There we go. That's a chance to get that lineman down. Yeah, let's follow that. Nope. Okay, so then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Then we can go here and gaze this. Try and kill him still. Might as well. Oh. 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 That's so sad. Alright. Well. Still. We score. We're 11 versus 9. He doesn't have tackle. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk setups then. Lodge go on the outside. If the tackle's there, I want the wrestle here. Yeah, I guess this will do. Still a sucker for symmetry. Yep, good enough. Just a moment. <sighs> hey, you're drinking. All right, so the Jilly Six is there. Lines here. Let's put it there then. What was that? 
Uh, weet ik niet, moet je even op de verpakking kijken. <laughs> oh yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. <sighs> so do we put the catcher under there? Or the blitzer? Because... I think I want to put the blitzer under there. Because launch is a thing. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can blitz him away even. Question is, what are these doing? I guess some safety might be a good idea. Yeah, I know, I know that is a part of it. Yes, you can. You shouldn't, but you can. Uh, I don't need to, though. So, yeah, that helps. <laughs> yes, it is an Agility 6 Elf. He's also got an Agility 5 one, which is why I decided to get the ball on a Blodger. Because, you know, 3 plus dodges into the cage are kind of easy to get the ball from him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty damn pleased with that. Especially since we're 11 versus 9 and he lost his tackle. And a bludger. Now yeah, we've still got four turns to do our thing. Well, to be honest, this guy has a lot more potential than that one, in my opinion. Because of movement 8, he makes way better use of the agility. <laughs> Cute. I like that. We're still on the one, right? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, he did. Um... Why didn't I put this guy? I'm not sure where you would want to put him. I was quite pleased with this, because this way on a push I could still send him there. So, blitz against the ball with no one to retrieve, and also he needs a pow to get it. Well, it's possible. He could get it himself, I guess. Dodge is good, of course. That's not a pal. Decided not to follow. Is he moving out again? Though? Not at the moment. Right, so four turns is quite a bit. The downside of ha hanging onto the ball with this guy is, of course, that blitzing with him starts sucking a little bit. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet. I haven't quite decided yet, uh, Denistrio, but definitely at least one more after this one. So the question is, do we push forward, or do we regroup? I don't particularly mind pushing forward that much, so we're going to go... It's going to be a bunch of dodges, though. It's 
Starting off with Eldril, who's got dodge, so that's kind of alright. He said and snake. No. So let's gaze this just in case. Nope. That's alright, because I'm blitzing it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Would be somewhere over there. Two dice with tackle. Come on. Gotta get this guy down, right? Yeah, that's it. That helps. And the stun is kind of alright. We're there, and this stunt guy is actually helping out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to block that guy. So that this becomes safer. We also want to be here-ish, I guess. Hmm. Might want to be there instead. Because I want to be able to push in the wrong way instead of the right way. I'm going to block this guy. Good. Very good. So now we've got two assists here already, regardless of whether we follow, which means we don't need to cancel this anti-assist there. Both down here is really going to be good enough anyway. Question is, what do we do there? Do we bring him in here? Do we make it to die there? I think we want to screen this off more than that. This two die, both down will do. That will not, really. Alas. Alas. One die here, or dodge out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, something to be said for that. Yeah, we're gonna one die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's follow that. Keep them busy here. It's only a couple more turns. Ah, I see. I didn't think that's the blitz he was going to make. But, uh, yeah. If I was worried about that blitz, I would have probably done that. I'm so glad that he doesn't have, uh, <clears throat> tackle anymore. Okay, dodge is gone. Sorry, the re team reroll is gone, so that's good. This guy still has dodge, though. Yeah, well, with the agility... I mean, I really, really would have liked to hit the agility 6, but... Didn't roll with both down. Could have considered a reroll on that one, maybe. But preventing an Agility 6 from getting a shot at a POW? <laughs> kind of tough. He's got dodge too, so that's annoying. But if he POWs this, then we're still, we're still at the ball in a reasonable spot. That's not a POW. He doesn't reroll. Interesting. So I wonder where he's going to go, though. Because not only is the Agility 5 surfable, the Agility 6 is also surfable. Oh, you already rerolled the, um, the dodge, right. Yeah, sorry, my bad. My bad. <laughs> That's cute. This was one great time to roll Blitz. 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus, okay. 
Okay, that's somewhat annoying. That's actually quite annoying. Especially with the guard here. But you stand up. Because I really don't want to lead with a block here. Yeah. I guess we could surf with Eldril there. Hey, Gerber. Uh stand this guy up for yeah so we could start by blocking the garter yeah I think we will surf the agility 5 instead that's nice <clears throat> movement for garter broke so I kind of want that one as well. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Let's see if we can do this then. Oh, he's got strength too. I completely forgot about that. But now is a good time to remember. Because it means we don't need an assist with Eldro there. Dodge now. Thank you. We kind of want this one too. Thanks. Now would be a good time for this two guy to be a push. Thank you. Goodbye, strength two dude. So, with this setup, even the Agility 6 is going to have to put him some real work to get this going. Let's just punch that guy in the face while we're at it. Three rerolls. Sure, you know what? Let's pound. There. There we go. That will do. Follow, yes. Okay. Two more turns. Getting some real good numbers, though. He's got two, four, seven dudes. 75% dodge. It does still get him a one die. And since he leads with it. Oh! Doesn't make the 75. Instead, he KOs. Splendid! Perfect. Perfect. Uh huh. Uh huh. Block there. Yeah, so, priority is moving forward. Is Russell good enough here? Yeah, it's not. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't want to blitz with that. Let's do this first then. How's good? Another removal. Nice, nice, nice. So then, can this guy assist there? Can. And this guy puts there. Yes, he 
can. Worth a reroll? Double skulls now would kind of suck. That's not. So, slight change of plans. No block there. Also annoying, but not the end of the world. We're going to hand off to Keldegat because Zacharel's on 17 and Keldegat's on 13. We're going to do that here. Snakes now would kind of suck. <sighs> Snakes now would kind of suck. <sighs> okay. okay. And then we can close up the gap there. Yeah, I don't like Diving Tackle on Armor 7 for the most part. Not if I can help it. Really prefer Armor 8 for it. <laughs> yeah, a 1 into a 2. That was certainly a scary moment. So now we only have one more turn in which we run in the ball. <clears throat> then put up a 1 turn defense. Right. 3 plus 6 plus. Brave. I'd still get Fend on a Witch. <clears throat> or Leap. Leap serves are fun. And can be very worth it. Even if you don't do them, the fact that your opponent has to think about you, that the fact that you might is uh, kind of a big deal. Okay, here comes the 5 plus dodge, 1 die, not a pow, good. Reroll, not a pow either, good. Yeah, that went well. well done. Hey, thanks for the follow, Drunk Doctor. Welcome to the Sage Lands. Okay. First thing we're going to try is hypnogaze this guy. That didn't work. Three, four, five, six, so that doesn't work either, so we're going to two die. Actually, let's use the wrestler, because then on the both down we still have him. And then we don't need to dodge. Idea. But this will do as well. Yay! That was nice. <clears throat> it's not over yet. Oh, sorry for the bumping into the mic part. My bad. <sighs> but it's pretty close over. He does have a catcher. He's not completely dumb. Sorry. Sorry.
Hmm. So you need three pushes. So actually being out there is kind of okay. Well, let's not put the dodge on the line because it might <coughs> help. I think this should probably be fairly difficult, don't you think? Yeah, I'm okay with this. <sighs> Yeah, orc throwers are uh, <clears throat> pretty, pretty meh. I like having one because, you know, early sure hands gets a chance to roll something useful, I suppose. One more strength access on, <clears throat> um, on your front line later. One more guy to get my lone guard. But the movement hurts so much. I mean, if you replace pass with movement six, he would be a really, really good player, I think. I, I don't mind the armor that much. I don't even mind keeping him, but... Yeah. If they came with kickoff return out of the box, though, that would be kind of cool, too. An extra reroll for the bad guys. No one turn set up. So we got this. Yeah, no, it's an arc walker. That's what it is. Ah! <sighs> I hate how the uh, the injuries don't show. I actually forgot that he had a, a strength two guy. Would have probably taken advantage of that if he was in one. <laughs> that sounds like a splendid plan, uh, Clicking. You know, if you're gonna pass, then this might not be the best square to do it from. Mm. But it doesn't matter. Hooray! We win! So yeah, thank you, Blitz. Splendid. 6 0 no, no. Huzzah! Oh! Perfect winnings, which means we get compensated for our missing Eldril. Uh, Zacharel gets the MVP. That doesn't do that much for me, but we do skill up the other Blitzer, Keldeged, here. Let's see what he rolls. Oh! Okay. Can't say no to that now, can I? So now, now it becomes more appealing to make Kelda get a retriever and make AVQC the sacker. A sacker. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.